Hey guys, welcome back to another video from myself and my name is Crystal Diamond and if you're new to my channel and my channel is about lifestyle and beauty and style and slash fashion so guys and um, in today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about the seven ways that you can save money while shopping online and these are the seven apps guys at the moment I know a lot of people are shopping online a lot of people shop online every day and um, it's the easiest way it's more convenient and i know with everything that is going on now a lot of people are probably shopping online getting ready for when all this lockdown is over that they can go out and enjoy themselves so if you're planning to shop online soon before you go ahead and do that please sit back relax and watch this video just to find out how you can save yourself some money today so the first one is um the first way i know how to, you can save money while shopping online is to buy through a cash back site and basically that's um, a site where you buy you basically buy an item and then you get cash back for that item so there's different sites that you can use and um, i use i currently use top cash back and um, basically how it works if you're going to go on amazon to buy like a product or anything instead of going directly to amazon you should go onto the cashback site and then buy your product through there and there's different percentages so it just depends on what kind of like percentage you're giving back at the time of your purchase but honestly it's better than nothing and what happens with top cashback the one that i use um it allows you so whenever so for example my last purchase from amazon i saved six pounds so i got that six pounds back so when it gets up to 200 pounds i think it is and then you can draw that money out and it's all yours and that's you know it adds up like just how you can be spending two pounds there or two dollars there and it, everything adds up it's the same with top cash back um, and all the other cash back sites so you know you get to keep all that money and um, at the end of it so yeah that's like a great way for you to save while shopping online guys honestly always use a top cashback site don't just go directly to the website because you won't save anything okay so um the next um way the second way in which you can save money while shopping online is to get the shop tag or app and that's an amazing app guys so basically what it does if for instance you went on to pretty little thing or you went on to amazon or just any site basically if you went on any of those sites and you see like a product and you know we're not all rich and famous you know want to save some money you see about an item for say for 100 pounds or just something and you decide right right that's just way too expensive i'm gonna wait until it goes on sale but then it goes on sale and you miss the sale. Never miss a sale with the Shop Tagora app. It's amazing. So what it does is when you're browsing through like a website and you see an item that you like and you just think, right, it's too expensive. I'm just going to wait for the sale. Instead of just waiting for the sale and probably missing the sale, what you can do is you save that item to the Shop Tagora app and what that app does it tells you when the item is on sale so you'll be the first to know and um, it also tells you if something is not in if, if something is back in stock so if you saw an item on the website and it wasn't in stock at the time and you save it to the app and what it does it gives you an update or sends you a notification when the item is back in stock so at the moment i've got this top that i really like guys oh, i like it but um, at the time when I saw it, it was too expensive and I'm just like, no, I'm not spending that much money on a top. Um, so I put it on the Shop Tower app and I've got two notifications as you can see. So there was a first sale and then it's gone down to a lower sale. Don't know why I haven't bought it yet, guys. Maybe I'm waiting just to see what other sale is there. But basically, it really helps. Um, you know, I love to buy items in the sale, but I'm always missing the sale because... You know it's sometimes you, you're just like really busy so honestly with the shop tab or app you get a notification straight away and you will not forget okay and as well i used to always go back onto the website like oh my gosh is this in sale yet you know and you know sometimes it's a massive inconvenience so just let the app do the work for you and just get notified when that item is back on sale so um, my third way um, is to search an item on Google. So with this, what you do is before you purchase purchase an item, um, what basically what you do, you copy the name of the item, you put it into your Google search, 
and then you go to the shopping section and you'd be amazed to see how many different stores or companies are selling that one item and you'll be able to see that the prices dif differs like so much it's the same item but you will find it cheaper somewhere else so it's always good to do the google search and just have a look in the shopping section just to see if you can find the item cheaper that way and i guarantee you that you will find it cheaper somewhere else okay so um that's like another way so guys number four this is something that i love doing okay so then the next thing that you can do is you can leave the items in your shopping basket so <laughs> i do this all the time especially when i'm shopping for holiday products and holiday clothes i like to leave the items in my basket however and um, before you do this just make sure that you register and um, onto the site and that you you know you've got an account because if you leave your item into it, the basket and they don't know who's left the item in the basket you won't get notified so basically once you're logged in for example pretty little thing yeah i don't just shop at pretty little thing guys but for example pretty little thing what you can do um you put the items in your basket make sure that you're logged into the pretty little thing leave it in for a few days maybe one or two days and you will probably get an email saying you know that you've got um 10 percent off the items in your basket come and purchase now because what happens and um, retailers track your every move and they don't like the fact when people put stuff in their basket and oh my gosh they don't make the purchase so they want people to make that purchase so they will probably send you out a discount code for you to make the um, purchase um one website i know that does that um a lot is fashion over um I've done it a lot where I've leave my stuff in my basket for a while and then in one or two days time I'll get an email saying 10% off for the items in your basket. So yeah, I think this is an amazing way and I love doing it. Like, why not? Do you know what I mean? Like, it helps you to save money. So that's one of my favourite ways, guys. So um, my fifth way is um, to check um, discount sites. So I... Um, I know this can sometimes be hassle. I will, for me, anyways, it is sometimes a hassle. And um, so, basically, what you can do is get another email address, which is just for promo codes, or you know that sort of thing, because you don't want to bombard your email with lots of you know um, emails. So, what you can do um, is check these sites, check Groupon, check Coupons.com. There's some di different sites, guys. And what you can do, and um, when you go on those sites, just type in a company, um, just type in the website that you're looking for a um, discount from. And honestly, there's so much discounts out there, guys. You just have to search. I'm um, just trying to think where. Like recently, I was buying something, can't remember, but I think it was when I recently went on holiday and um, I was flying with Tui and I, f I got a discount code like just by searching these sites. So, you know, it's it's good to just know which sites that you want to look at or just type in on Google and then just, you know, just search for if you're on Pretty Little Thing. I keep using Pretty Little Thing, sorry. If, for example, you're on HM or... Um, you're on ASOS, just type in ASOS into these sites and it will show you all the discounts that ASOS is currently um, given. So that's like a really good way, guys. So the sixth way, the sixth way is to sign up for email discounts. So I know, again, I know it can be bombarding to receiving emails every day about discounts here and there, filling up your mailbox. So that's why it's really good to get a separate email just for things like this so when you sign up each time you sign up onto a site you always get a promotion like well most sites so um you always get a promotion code saying 10 percent off on your first purchase or so on so on so and once you sign up it doesn't end there so you will get discount codes throughout the time if it's your birthday for example you get like a discount code as well um, I signed up for this um, facial place and it was my birthday and I got like a £200 voucher, how amazing guys. So you know, signing up, it, I know it's annoying but like I said, just get another email address and um, just sign up for these discount codes if you're a first time sign up. Um, you will get a code, probably most likely get a code, 10% off or 20% off, whatever it is. And um, basically just, um, just use that code and save money when shopping online. And 
you will receive codes out for, you know throughout your time and signed up with them so you know just keep a lookout i think that's a great way guys i do it all the time um, and i've got a separate email address where i get all my discount codes just a little tip guys if you're currently um if your current mailbox is filled with lots of sales and discounts and emails and um, if you just go on unroll me it's a website it will help you to clear out your email of all these um things and unsubscribe so yeah just in case you have that little problem it's an amazing website for you to look into okay guys so the final way in which you can save money when shopping online is to follow your favorite retailers on their social media sites or you can also follow um, the influencers. So what happens is sometimes they do announce disco and um, discounts first on the social media pages before they send an email out or they might be given a special discount. So it's good to follow your favorite retailers just to keep up to date and know when there's a discount going out and also following the influencers like I've said because sometimes they too announce um, when there's a sale on or you know there's a special discount so it's our competitions as well guys like you know so it's it's really I think it's an amazing way to be honest and um, just to follow your favorite ones you know keep in the loop keep up to date and you won't miss the sale that wraps it up for me today guys I hope you find this video really helpful and um, if you've got any tips um, or any other ideas that you can think of please just let me know below and um, if you want to read more about the seven online shopping apps that will help you save money and um, just click the link below and um, I've got a blog post and um, which is written all about this so you can go through read it if you want a bit more details because I understand this was just a quick video um, and you can sign up as well just so you don't miss out when I um, sh when I publish a post guys so um, yeah this is it for today Thank you so much for watching and um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to like this video and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you so much guys, enjoy the rest of your day, bye.